Hey guys, well, we're finally at finishing. This is awesome. Um, finishing is exciting because as soon as I put the oil on this, uh, I'm gonna, uh, you're gonna see right away what the canoe, you're gonna have a good idea what the canoe is gonna look like at the end, at least on the inside. So uh, on the outside, it doesn't really matter. But anyways, I'll start by uh, oiling out the, the outside and in the inside, um, I'm not really going to show, there's, this is oil, so there's not really any, any technique to it. It's just slap it on, try not to make too much mess in the garage, but that's about it. Um, there's a bit more technique to uh, when I get to varnishing. Um, I'm not decided yet whether or not I'm going to put varnish on the top side. Uh, the oil I'm using is uh, double oiled. Let me just get right here. So, the canister, let's see if you can you see that. Well, okay, so circa 1850, double boiled linseed oil, and it says right underneath, contains pure oil pressed from flaxseed. I got in a comment from uh, Dick Person, is, uh, is from the uh, Buckhorn Canoes. I'm hoping I got that. I remember that right. Anyways, he he's the one that sent sent me all the uh, the equipment for the, the the planks, the canvas is right there on the top there. Um, so he he's the one that's been giving me. Also, the first time I called him, it was uh, he was so nice. Uh, I just started asking him questions about the the the, the equipment and all that stuff, and uh, he actually spent almost a half hour. Uh, with me on the phone answering uh, asking me questions about what kind of canoe would I get and, and all that stuff And he's the one that's been guiding me the most honestly through through this whole this whole adventure So uh, thanks a lot if you ever end up watching this dick. Uh, thanks a lot for your help um, So uh, He uh, had also uh, uh, Warned me against uh, using linseed oil because some of them uh, he said that most if not all the uh, linseed oil products are not really from linseed or I can't really remember exactly who, what he had, how he explained it. He said that the quality isn't there, um, uh, that it's not real pure linseed oil. Since it says pure linseed oil on this one and I really love this this company. I'm used to their products and they've never uh, they've never disappointed me until now. I'm going to take the risk because I bought it already so I'm going to use it. I have a gallon of... Um, of um, varnish that I'm going to use for the, but um, so the reason I would want to put varnish over it is that it's a low, um, a low luster, low luster finish. I want the canoe to be shiny. I want it shiny. I want the sun to be coming off of the finish with the water and everything. So. Uh, the uh, so I have high uh, gloss varnish. Uh, I did read something on a post somewhere that said that if you put uh, the oil varnish over uh, linseed oil, that the varnish can actually like eat at it as some chemical reaction. So to put um, shellac between the two. So we have two small cans of shellac. I think it would be enough. start by oiling it, oiling it, so stay tuned.
So we'll put like uh, at least two coats, if not more. It's going pretty quickly, so I mean, I might put three coats of oil before I put the start trying to make the inside prettier. So three coats should give it a good line of protection. And also make sure that I, I I'm missing spots. I mean, I'm going pretty fast. I'm not, you know, I like I'm finishing a fine, uh, fine furniture. Too, that really changed the color. But, like I said, the outside doesn't show because the camera's too real. So this is the real deal. It's the outside, it's the inside that has that got all made up. So, look at that! It is open. That's a pretty nice light to it though.
All right, so that's, I just finished completely slathering all this stuff on. Uh, so now I'm going to go through. Like I said, so now that I've got all this in there, I'm just gonna go over it with uh, just a cotton rag and pick up uh, any big uh, accumulations if there's uh, big drops or whatever. You don't wanna, you don't want that to dry in a big spot. So since the top of here is gonna actually gonna be visible, I'm gonna do it a bit, a bit, bit better job. Because that's how you're gonna get nice even, a nice even finish, is by accumulating nice even coats uh, one on top of the other. I'm using the light to kind of see the reflection to see if there's any kind of pooling, but it's pretty good. Looks great actually. Jeez, that wood really came out, eh? <laughs> all right, I think that's about all I can do today. All right, well, um, I'll uh, let that dry, dry till tomorrow and do the whole thing over again. All right, guys, so I just, uh, I just put the second coat of the oil uh, last night, and and now I have to le let that completely dry. So already though, it's pretty neat. Uh, we get to see what it looks like, what it's pretty much going to look like. Um, so it really brought out the color of the wood. We do see the the difference in the uh, the new boards, but that's all right. It really brought out the nice green pattern. The oak, the oak is very nice. Uh, there's a bit of glare here. Here, there you go. I can see it a little better. It really brought her back to life. So now, oh, there's also the. Uh, mm, there, that's the new rear end. So now what is left to do, I have to let it completely dry for about two weeks. I'll see as I, as I go, I mean, I, the it's uh, winter here, so it's extremely dry and I have my um, uh, dehumidifier running all the time. It's heated here, but it's pretty cold. Uh, so I'll see if uh, after about a week and a half, if uh, it seems dry enough. So I'll, I'll end this episode here just so that you guys can at least have an, an, an update a little bit quicker and see what's going on. Uh, pretty exciting. Yeah, now that we see a bit more, more what it's going to look like. Um, so in once it's completely dry, I will cover it with uh, a couple of coats of shellac. And that same day, the first coat of, the first of three coats of varnish. So what should change the shellac might change the hue will, will most likely change the hue a bit um probably not that much and the shellac the um, sorry yeah, the shellacs could change the hue a bit but uh and then the the varnish will might might darken it a bit but usually doesn't change the change the, the color too much but what that will do is give it a nice glossy finish uh, uh, so the shellac on top of it to protect the oil, and then the two, two three coats of varnish. Yeah, it'll give it a, a nice uh, glossy, shiny, shiny finish, which should be nice. So uh, yeah, uh, so that means that uh, no no uh, no canoe update for the next two weeks. Uh, but I got I got a couple of things uh, coming out for you guys uh, in the meantime. So uh, don't worry about it. There's, there'll be content. All right. So thanks a lot for watching, and uh, yeah, it's coming along nice. See you guys.